What's happening, people of YouTube? This is Loudon Styles, and this is Loudon's World. Now, on this edition of Loudon's World, I am going to be talking about two people. Well, more like one person and this person's fan base and friends. I'm talking about GNR RSTP 911 or Sketch against versus Tubers 93 the dark 1707 and anyone else that is probably you know commented on on him or made a commentary of him now this all started with a commentary on a commentary on a commentary it all started when sketch decided to do a video on two versus commentary on dark angel lights commentary now that wasn't one of his best videos. Um, in fact, it wasn't good at all. I mean, he was basically saying the same exact thing that has been said by everybody else. And some of the jokes weren't funny that he was trying to do. None of them were. And because of that, he got like 20, he got like a bunch of, uh, negative comments on that page a lot of people say you shouldn't have done it it fucking sucks you're a fag you fail at life you know typical YouTube comments that are put under every chant er, every video and then tubers does one then tubers decides that he's going to just say you should try to do another video instead of yours and jumping the bandwagon now well one thing I gotta say on this one too is about the whole jumping the bandwagon thing that's been done so many times to other videos and at times the videos are good when you jump the bandwagon like that's like the biggest thing people do they jump the bandwagon like if someone that does a video on teen werewolves or you know kids trying to be like werewolves chances are there's going to be people doing that same exact commentary if someone does a commentary on a Justin Bieber fangirl chances are somebody's going to do a commentary on that Justin Bieber fangirl then then his friends are going to do it and so on and so forth yes that video was old but hey people have been commentating on old videos before but the but it was really bad but it was not a really good video not the best that I've seen from others so I'm just gonna say for the wrongs for the both of you are this sketch he was trying to be he was trying to bring out criticism he prop in a way he probably did insult you but two wrongs don't make a right and you fucking come out and you tell him to kiss your ass and fuck off didn't make it any better when you said that if he did insult you you should have just left alone just like you did all the other commentaries I mean just like you did all the other comments so this leads to the point where tubers and the dark 1707 who he 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 says hey you should do a commentary on this on this fail of a person because that's what he basically calls to who he calls sketch and so he does so dark one does a commentary on one of sketch sketches commentaries which was uh a commentary he did on some gray bloke which I'm guilty to say I did the same commentary on I, but I think I know that some gray bloke was a joke and uh they talk about how he took it way too seriously he took his basically said said that his intro was way too long made no sense whatsoever um, you know, gave his criticism out on it, and Sketch didn't like that very much. So he goes at war with the Dark One Seven Hundred Seven, and then Tubers. He ends up blocking both of them, which basically doesn't make you look any better, Sketch. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It makes you look like a pussy. I'm sorry, it makes it does make you look like a pussy. You shouldn't have blocked them in the first place. I don't care if you are trying to play mind games with them. That does not... 
to you, it looks like you're playing mind games. To everybody else, it looks like you just don't know what the hell you want to do, and it looks like you pussy out then then uh have a change of conscience and try to make yourself look bad. That's what people think about. That's what people think. In all honesty, I wouldn't have tried to block anybody. They got a problem. They can say it to me on my comment box. I'd be happy to happy to just tell them what I need to say. You apparently didn't do that. You decided to block them and you talk shit about them on their other channels. But then again, tubers, you done the same thing. It was a basic shit flinging on both sides. So, Sketch's PSA comes out. He talks about how he should have a uh, how his two year anniversary is came to and. He thanks his fan club because apparently under the comment section of one video someone says that he really doesn't have a fan base it's more like a fan club because he has only what five to ten people but what he also says on there that kind of got tubers in the dark 1707 and it even got me because I had to cringe at that and and then uh, Josh and myself had to cringe on that Hodge and me had to cringe on that a little bit the fact that he said the fact that he praised Zay Cool and Steven the master for their commentaries on them and said that he got pwned that he said that he admits that he got pwned even though tubers and the dark one said the exact same thing in their videos the same exact thing probably worded differently but still the same thing they said the same thing that the dark one said in his videos Zay Cool said the same thing that the dark 1707 said in his videos and tubers 93 and comments and such Steven the master said the same thing it's in fact his style of commentary is of like the dark 1707 because while doing this, I was getting out all the little information I needed just to do this video. So just so I could, you know, see the videos in question just to see who just to get my opinions on both guys. And sketch that was not a really good thing for you to say because I don't know if you noticed this, but you made it like you had selective hearing. And you only heard Zay Cool and Steven the Master, but you don't want to hear tubers in Dark One Seven O Seven, and that's what it sounds like. That's what it looks like to me, and that's what it sounds like to me. Um, I don't know, Sketch. You you kind of dug a hole a little bit on some of the stuff you've done, and you know, even though tubers has a reputation of being an asshole, being a prick, a douchebag, all of the above, even though he has a reputation of being that, there are at times where Tubers has some good points. And Tubers had some very good points on you. I'm sorry, he did. The criticism he gave you was about the same thing Zay Cool and the same thing Steven the Master said about you. The only thing that I can come out of this, the only thing that was kind of in my in my in my opinion that was kind of a little off on Tuber's comments was about him you jumping the bandwagon. There have been loads of videos about you about that commentary tubers. You probably know this and you, you know, whatever, but there have been video there have been many videos about you tubers. So I mean, if he wanted to make a video about you, shit, let him do it. Even though the video wasn't that good. Everybody jumps the bandwagon. There's been times where people jump the bandwagon. I repeat myself again. You know? But, um... This has been another episode of Loudon's World. And I'm over, I'm out, and I am gone.